This next video we're going to look at the auto increment property. We use the auto increment property when we want to have a primary key that is numeric and we want the database to keep track of which number comes next. We don't necessarily want to have to figure out for ourselves what the next number in the sequence should be. We want the database to take care of that for us so we don't have to worry about it. So let's say that we're going to create a new table called things. I'm just going to have two columns. So I filled in the name here, things, and the number of fields, two. And you'll note that I am creating a new table on database. Here it is. And up at the top, it says database. I'm not within a table right now. I'm just looking at the database. This is what allows me to create a new table. I click Go. My first column, I'm going to call thing ID. And my other column, thing name. The type, I'm going to use an integer. This is going to be my primary key. I will check off here that I want primary key for this column. This one's going to be a variable character length up to 80 characters. I will set NODB as my storage engine, my collation I want to have as UTF-8. UTF-8 general CI. There we go. UTF-8 general case insensitive. All right. Now, in the extra, this is where I will check off auto increment. Now, sometimes it'll just say A underscore I. Sometimes it'll say auto increment. It depends which way this is oriented, how many columns you're adding. But it's always going to be that extra column just before you set the primary key. I will save. And there we are. My table has been created, thing1, thing name, auto increment, and down here at the bottom under indexes, it says key name primary, the field thing ID. So this is where you look to see if you have a primary key set. And up here, this is the auto increment. Now if I drop this table, do I really want to drop the table things? I'll say OK. I will quickly recreate this, but I'll forget to put the auto increment on there. So thing ID, thing name, it's going to be an integer, and I'm setting it to primary key. Now I haven't set the auto increment, and I'll skip the collation for the moment. Oh, yep, need a length for the thing name. I'll say 120 characters this time. There we go, it's created. Now, I did set primary key on thing ID, but I haven't put anything in this extra column. If I want to go back and do that, I can click on the pencil here to edit that column, and come back in here and say auto increment save. And now, it's been set.